Good Monday morning. I pray you were all were able to get out and enjoy the beauty of God's creation yesterday. Rhonda and I have been discovering some very interesting trails to walk in our area. Our scripture for today's devotional will be Psalm 46, verses 1 through 5. Now you can open your Bible and read along, or you can just listen as I read it. Psalm 46, 1 to 5. God is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Now, until recently, no one imagined the possibility of the world itself being destroyed, but our films today are filled with ways that it could happen. And it's very hard to not find some movie or show that does not deal with some virus breaking out or an apocalyptic catastrophe happening, changing the way people have to live to survive. Friends, trust me, we are not there yet. We are by no means anywhere near a zombie horde coming to get us or a road warrior type of scenario. We have faced these kinds of situations in the past and they will come up again in the future. But if you have the God mentioned in the Psalm as your God, you can face even those kinds of cataclysms without any fear. Now it doesn't say here that God will help you if you get into a strong refuge, it says he is that refuge. God is a stronghold or a city that cannot be bombed or destroyed. Though earthquakes and tidal waves dissolve the solid world and civilizations melt, his rule is unshaken. And though viruses come and infect whole communities, his protection never fails. If God is with you, even the worst thing that happens to you, death, only makes you infinitely happier and greater because you will be with Him. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Let's pray. Lord, I feel so vulnerable to disease and injury, to financial loss, to political betrayal, to professional failure. But in this psalm, you say that even earthquakes and mountains melting can't take away my inheritance of infinite love, resurrection, new heavens, and new earth. As I praise you for this, my anxiety ebbs. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Friends, I pray you have a blessed day. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless.